What's up everybody? Today I'm going to fish with this with fish. So hopefully uh, we're gonna catch some surf perch today and we might do some surf perch sashimi. That was a uh, Ish's idea. Yeah. So every time I caught a perch, I've always wondered what it tastes like raw, and uh, I'm not the person to fillet a fish sashimi style. This guy is. So hopefully it works out. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's see how it goes. All right. Let's do this. All right. First cast, baby. First cast. Got some seaweed on here, I think. Oh, I got a Dungeness. I got a Dungeness. Got a Dungy. That's almost a keeper if it was in season and not by hook. A small red tail. These have to be ten and a half inches, I think. Not too small, but hey. they're well, they're here. They're here. Okay. We have about an hour left to work with for fishing wise. So hopefully we can get get on a fish real quick or soon. Not real quick because it's been already an hour and a half maybe. Um, so hopefully we can land a keeper size red tail or any other type of perch, if anything, if not a red tail. Um, yeah, let's hope for the best. This is a spot right here. I'm gonna catch one right here, right now, in about 10 seconds. Got one, got one. Hopefully this one's bigger. It's definitely bigger. Hopefully it's big enough. Red tail. Ish, it's close! Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, that was close. Real close. Real close, man. That was, yeah, do you have your caught a red tail before? No, just that, the little one earlier and this one. Yes. Yes. Could this be my first keeper red tail? I hope so. Oh! Oh, yes. oh just 11. At least 11. Yeah, Probably right. Like 11 and a quarter. Yeah. Yeah, just 11, a call little. It 11 and a quarter? Yeah, living in a quarter. Nice, dude, you did it. Yeah. Yes. Nice catch, Whoa. man. All right, well. All right. I think I think we know what we, we got to do now. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice, man. Awesome. <laughs> My first keeper red tail. Are they pretty? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Yeah. And when it when it's like really bright and sunny, mm -hmm. like the way the sun kind of comes through the uh, the fins, it's just yeah. really cool. Yeah. Awesome. And, and the meat's a little firmer, in my opinion, a little tastier too. Awesome. Than your typical bard. So good job, man. That's a perfect eating size, man. Yes. yes. Let's, Let's do, do this. Right. This guy been eating sand crabs. Another bunch of sand crabs in there. Yeah. Nice. A couple of sand crabs. All right. So we have our red tail. All right. About 11 inches. A little over 11. I'm just gonna first scale it. All right. That's good. Now I'm just gonna go wash it off first. Make an incision right here. Both sides. Fish. Flip. Turn. 
two fillets and the carcass. Every fish pretty much has pin bones going down the middle and this perch has probably about seven or eight pin bones. Uh, and I forgot my bone pick, so I'm gonna try to <laughs> take it out using these as multi-tool. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but let's uh, give it a shot. It's working, it's working uh, okay. <laughs> you know, I have, yeah, so one of them I'll take the skin off and I'll just make the sashimi. And then the other one I'm gonna blanch the skin. Blanch the skin and then cut the sashimi. This one I'm gonna skin off. So the way I do it, there's a lot of ways to skin off too. I just take the tail part. For, for sushi, the tail part, we always take it off anyways because it's too chewy. Um, you can discard that and grab a towel and I pull the towel or hold the skin with the towel. Just wiggle it a little bit. And then and pull, pull and push, pull. And then, so I have boiling water here and all I'm gonna do is just pour it straight on top of the fish. And it's just a little bit. That's just to cook the skin so it becomes edible. Um, and I'm just gonna score the skin now. sushi or cutting fish, um, you always want to start at the heel, heel of the knife, and then just one, one slice. And ideally I would have a longer knife, but you know we're out here, don't have much space to carry a long knife with me, so, but this, this will do. Alright, with this one, a little different way we cut it, start from, I'm going to start from the tail Cutting it pretty thin. This is shiso, uh, also known as perilla leaf, and the same family as a uh, like a nettle. Alright, so I have a couple different things. Soy sauce, a little bit of ponzu. So let's do it. Now we're ready to eat right now. We are. Alright. Oh, I'm so excited. Our, our red tail sashimi. <laughs> red tail surf perch sashimi with avocado, these sauces as he mentioned. And I'm I'm really I'm really excited to put uh, you know a lot of um, assumptions to rest because a lot of people say it's not worth eating these things they're too soft um, they're too mushy but I think it really comes down to preparation and based on this guy's experience he's saying I haven't tried one yet but he's saying that it should um, be firm enough texture wise and I have no idea about flavor I know they taste really good pan fried but a lot of fish do so I'm really excited to try this let's do it let's do it so I just yeah go for it just grab uh, any yeah piece. we'll just do it with our fingers First, I'm gonna try the one with no skin. No skin, okay, that's, no what, that's what I'm doing too. And I'll just go classic wasabi and soy sauce. Okay. All right, here we go. You ready? Cheers, man. Cheers. Thanks again. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me out here. <laughs> Thanks for joining me and catching the fish and, <laughs> and doing all the work. <laughs> First time I was the one to catch the fish. <laughs> <laughs> First all time right. for everything. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, it's good, man. Dude, that's good. <laughs> it's good. It's mild. It's not. It's, I thought it'd be like uh, a little fishy. Yeah. 
not fishy. No, not fishy at all. Not mushy. Not not mushy at all. No, like it has actually a bite to it. Let's try yeah. the skin on. All right, let's do it. Yeah. So this is the uh, sashimi with the blanched skin. You saw him pour some boiling water just for a few seconds, just enough to cook it, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, let me grab a piece. Yeah. I'm let, me, let me get in there. Try again. I'm gonna just do wasabi again. Wasabi yeah. soy sauce. I almost feel guilty like taking his artwork apart. I mean, it really is like art. It's so cool. All right, a little wasabi, a little soy sauce. All right, let's do it. Not bad. Not bad. That's a little bit more texture. That's a little bit more. Yeah. Something. If you uh, if you've had something like a a red snapper, you know, some sort of snapper, what it is what it reminds me of. Yeah. Yeah. I have shiso here. This is shiso. So it's like uh, it's a perilla leaf. Okay. Um, so it's very common in sashimi dishes. It's used as a little presentation and then you lay the sashimi onto the shiso. That's how it's commonly done. But you can also, it's really good edible too. Um, and it tastes, it's really almost minty some people call it Japanese mint I was gonna say it looks uh, like a mint leaf yeah it's really good really good flavor and so I'm just gonna use a piece of that just in the middle okay. and go with the ponzu this time just putting it in the middle yeah just, this will add definitely flavor yeah try with the ponzu ponzu it's almost right. like taku's fish taco <laughs> <laughs> alright alright let's try it, let's try it. different. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good too. That is good. That's good. That's like, that's like a really clean flavor. Yeah. This, is, this sashimi is like way better than I expected. You know what? It's <laughs> Me too. And I, I mean, I'm not just saying that. I mean, we are, we, we do go into, you know, these, these, uh, well, this isn't a catch and cook, but it's catch and sashimi. Catch and sashimi. Catch and sushi, I guess. <laughs> uh, with high hopes that it really does taste as good as we would hope. And I think, Honestly, the surf perch tastes way better than I thought it would. So. Yeah, I would recommend it. Like, I would recommend like you guys try it. Yeah, yeah. Catch a red tail and try the sashimi. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, you probably won't be able to, you know, cut it and, and fillet it and, and uh, sashimi it as clean as he did. But you saw how he did it. And even if you mess up, it's fun to try. I'm definitely going to try on my own if I get a chance. I got to catch the fish first, right? <laughs> but I think that it's worth the effort to do it. Yeah. So. All right, ish. Thank you for bringing me out here. No this problem, was awesome. Man. I mean, we caught it. You know, we got our goal done. Yeah. Uh, we the, told. Yeah. We totally were able to do it. Yeah. There, there's nothing like. Okay. Not only did we come out and catch the target species, but we prepared it. Well, he prepared it the, the way that um, he was hoping to, in a way that looked just awesome, palatable, and surprise, surprise, it tastes better than we both thought it would. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Man. Yeah, don't discount the surf perch. It's very good yeah. raw prepared like this. It's good. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> if you haven't seen Ish with Fish, I'm sure you have. If you've seen my channel, you've probably seen his channel. Um, if not, I'll leave a link in the description. Otherwise, see you next time. Peace. Dude, is good, man. Let's finish it off. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. I'm going to go avocado and cheese soda. Yeah. like really good yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry <laughs> so that helps <laughs> but like I don't know man if this was like a uh, addition to the restaurant mm -hmm. I think I would